Howdy folks, today we're going to discuss the uh, high performance RC hovercraft that you've seen in my previous videos. I've actually been working on building the second generation of that. This, this is known as the Hovernaut, um, the Hovernaut project. There's actually a uh, GoFundMe page, I believe it's GoFundMe.com slash Hovernaut. I'll drop a link in the description there. And originally it started out as foam board, a shower curtain, and some computer fans. And now we're actually getting into 3D printing some nice hull parts and uh, making this uh, a nice piece of gear to run around with. Uh, so what you're looking at is the new hull design uh, where we actually got like a scoop in the front for the uh, fans that inflate the skirt and some good strong motor mounting. Uh, we're no longer going to have a wing across the top I think because it kind of wanted to take off and fly last time though it was really light um, and with these plastic bits it should weigh a little bit more now. Um, I also have a skirt clamp design so I no longer have to glue the skirt to the outside. Uh, it will actually have fasteners and everything so the skirt is completely serviceable now which will be nice. Uh, it won't be so difficult to change. So I got a skirt clamp around the outside and there is a skirt clamp around the inside here. And then I got uh, the struts that uh, create the air gap so it can inflate the skirt. And then the holes where the air can rush out the bottom after the skirt has been inflated. Um, so that's some of the design features. And most of this is going to be 3D printed. So that green piece you see in the middle is going to be foam board. Um, but the rest of this, aside from the electronics, the motors, and the props and stuff, is going to be out of... 3D printed parts and let me show you the progress that we've made on that so far. We'll come out here. Uh, first off, here's the 3D printer. It's been back here twiddling away. Uh, I only got one part on it now. This was after running a job that had several parts on, on the bed last night but I wanted to get this one finished up really quick so I could go ahead and cut out the tombstone shape. We're at about 50%, it says 48%. We're almost halfway. So, uh, not too much longer, another, another hour, maybe two. And the assembly of that is taken care of over here. So here's what we have so far. And this is the 3D printed hull. And you can see here we have the wires where like the radio transceiver will go through. That's gonna be affixed here at the top with the antenna on it. Um, so there's wires for that. There's wires, wiring channels in the motor struts. So the wiring for the motors sits inside the strut and goes through there. And then it can be in the hull. Uh, this allows me to put the Arduino in the electronics bay and print a lid and keep it relatively sealed against water. Um, I need to get uh, two batteries. So like the uh, donations that come from the GoFundMe will definitely pay for two batteries and I'd like to actually get a real RC transmitter. Uh, the last RC transmitter I made for this I built using some Arduinos, some radio modules, and it gives me two-way communications and it works okay, um, but I would like to offer this as a kit to people and most people don't want the separate weird controller with it, they'd rather just use their RC stuff because they fly other planes or do whatever and so uh, I would like to actually spend a couple hundred bucks and buy an RC transmitter and receiver and get all that set up so it works with that. Um, the home built radio I only spent like fifty dollars on making which is why I did that. It was uh, it was easier for me to, to spend fifty dollars on some hardware, spend a few hours programming um, and that worked out better than than spending the money and getting a real RC transceiver. At any rate uh, here's the rest of the skirt clamp, that last piece on the printer there. Um, this is just the upper, the lower hasn't been started yet. Um, and it's a little wobbly because the dovetail joints I made are kind of sloppy there. You know, it's all part of the learning process. This isn't structural though, this is just meant to clamp down the skirt. I'm going to print a rubber gasket as well that will pinch against the skirt. Uh, and then the hardware on the bottom side will point through the top. And then the nuts will go around the, the top on here kind of the same deal for the inside that's why that flange is there and as you can see here I got the, 
the motor controller and the heat sink just like the original design we got our computer fans to inflate the skirt just like the original design and it's the same same motors and props as the previous design uh, the foam board will intentionally be three quarters to an inch bigger than the skirt clamp all the way around this is to allow impacts to happen and not break the skirt clamp I figured the foam core can take the impact and it does a pretty good job of that actually this one's a little bit thicker than the last hovercraft this is three layers uh, which makes this about a half inch thick um, at that point I, th I could add a fourth layer I may still but uh, I don't I don't know if it re it's really necessary I think we'll I think we might stick to three I have it sitting on a piece of rebar uh, once I find the batteries and put this other motor on and get things sort of situated I need to also print the lid. Uh, once I have the, all the weight that I am going to be using, I will go ahead and balance it. It's sitting on a piece of rebar there. You can see I have center marked, and I can actually move the whole section around on the foam board for, for front and aft to get the center of gravity uh, that I would like. Center of gravity on a hovercraft is important, so um, you want to take that into account as much as possible ahead of time. So anyway, that's a quick look at where we're at on the hovercraft now. Uh, the last post on GoFundMe before today was like 500 days ago. It's crazy that it's been that long already. But I am still working on this, folks. Um, I hope to offer this as a kit one day. Uh, the GoFundMe page is just funds for development for this uh, specific project. Um, in exchange, if I never get the opportunity to sell these to anybody, I'll, I'll uh, put up the design on Thingiverse and if you want to go at it, you can print it yourself, but I've already got a whole slew of videos up on like how I make the skirts, uh, what I went through with the last design, um, how the heatsink setup works and all that stuff. Some really good ideas that can help other model builders who want to make their own RC hovercraft. Um, I don't see any reason why this one couldn't carry 70 pounds just like the last one. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Anyway. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, hit that comment box below. Uh, remember to stick, up, stick your thumb up your comment and subscribe. <laughs> Until next time, have a good one.